Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install and set up Anaconda on a macOS system. And this is the page where you can find the instructions. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. With macOS, there are two ways you can use to install Anaconda. You can use the graphical installer or you can use the command line installer. For this tutorial, we are going to focus on the use of the graphical installer. So let's proceed. So once you visit this page, just look at point one. The link to the installer um, is available. So just look at where my cursor is. So where we have the macOS installer. This is a link. So click it and then you'll be sent to the page where you can download the installer. So on this page, just check on the right side, you will see the download button. Also, make sure that we have this text here for Mac OS. You should make sure you have that there. If you don't find this, you can always go to the bottom of the page. The links are there. Or you can even click this Apple link here. And then you'll be sent to the bottom of the page. Okay. So at the bottom of the page, you have the Mac OS section. For this tutorial, we are going to use the first installer 64 bit graphical installer this one worked for me so i will use that we also have the command line installer but we are using the graphical installer so just click to download and then download will start so let's wait and then um, get the installer downloaded for us Okay, so the installer has been downloaded, so we can proceed. So I can just check it out here, so I have it here. I'm using my Safari browser, or I can go to the finder, and I'll go to download. So here, I will still have access to the installer. I will just maximize this um, box here, this window here. Okay, so this is the installer. So because it's the graphical installer, we can just click it to install or double click, depending on which one works for you. So just double click it and then it will be opened. And so once it's opened, you will have this coming up. Okay, there is more like a security checks, but we can proceed since this file can be trusted. So just click on continue. And then you have this window coming up. So uh, we are about to start the installation. So you will proceed by clicking the continue button. So click it. And then here we have the readme. You can read. And then after that, you click the continue button. Yeah. So again, we have the license here. So just click continue. And then agree. And then yeah, you can change the installation um, location where the files will be saved to, or you can leave it with the default settings. I prefer to leave it with the default settings, so I will leave this as it is. So I will just click on install. And then the installer will start doing its job. So Anaconda will now be installed. So let's wait for the installation to complete. Okay, installation has been done. Okay, so Anaconda has been installed fully for us. And that is why you have this message appearing. Okay, so we are going to proceed. So once you see this, just click on the continue. And then you have like um, a message, more like a summary of what has been done and then uh, what you can also do. So here you have tutorials that you can use to get started but we are going to close this page anyway we will proceed okay so let's close it okay you can also move the installer to the bin if you don't need it we are done with the installation so i'll move mine to the bin you can also keep it but i'll move mine perfect so we are going to test we are going to begin by opening the command line we will use the terminal for now so let's open the terminal Okay, so I have opened the terminal now. So let's proceed. 
Perfect. So once you open the terminal, the first thing you will see is that there will be this name here. There will be this name here, base. Okay, this one here, the one I'm highlighting, that's the base environment. So it will be activated for you. This shows that Anaconda has been installed successfully. Now with Anaconda, tools are installed in the environment. And so the default settings for Anaconda after installation is that a default environment will be activated for you. This environment comes packaged with Anaconda, so it will be activated for you automatically. So that is how it is. Now we can test. Let's say Conda. Conda and list. We are going to list the environment. Okay, so we have the base environment, which I just talked about. So that is what has been activated for us. There are other commands you can use, but these are things that um, I have covered in other tutorials. So you can just watch them. Some useful links are in the description box. Let's proceed. So from here, you can install softwares. And you can also remove softwares if you have some installed in the base environment. But for now, because this is um, a new installation, there are no tools installed yet, so you, you can proceed. Now this base environment here, we can deactivate it. So if you want to deactivate an environment in Conda, you say Conda deactivates. And then the environment will be deactivated. After it has been deactivated, you will no longer see the name um, on the prompts, like what we have here. So this shows that the environment has been deactivated. This behavior is persistent. That's the default settings. So anytime you open the terminal, you have this base environment activated. Let's open a new terminal. Okay, so notice that's what the base environment has been activated again. Now, if you are using Anaconda, it's likely you may have different environments or you may have multiple environments let me put it that way and so if you have multiple environments you may want to activate them when you need them and therefore it is not advisable to always have the base environment um, activated for you anytime you open a terminal so the next thing we are going to do is to change this behavior we are going to uh, make sure that whenever we open the terminal the base environment will not be activated and so to do that Let's first deactivate the base environment. So we say Conda deactivates first. And then we are going to issue this command. So we say Conda config set auto activate base. Let's uh, write it well. Auto activate base. And then we say false. And so this means that the base environment will not be activated automatically. We are going to activate it when we need it. And so we are making the changes here. So let's run this command. Perfect. So now we have changed that behavior. So if you open a new terminal, the base will no longer be activated. Let's open a new one. Okay, so we have a new terminal open. So notice that the base environment has not been activated. So this is how uh, we start setting up our um, Anaconda um, platform. So we can also check the channels. When we are installing packages using Anaconda, we always do that um, using channels. Channels serve as repos where um, you have the softwares uh, made available or it's more like a database so uh, you just specify the channel and then conda will go to that channel and then um, select the software and then install for you so we can list the channels we have at the moment so you can see conda config show channels okay so at the moment it's only the default channel that is available and so the rest of the channels, we have to add them ourselves. These are things I have covered in 
other tutorials. So I'll leave those tutorials in the description box. So this is how we install Anaconda and set it up using the Graphica installer in macOS. Now, because we are using a graphical installer, we also have other we also have other things we can check. We can check the Anaconda Navigator. So let's check it out. So I will still search for it here. That is the Anaconda Navigator. So I'll just click it and then open it. So let's wait and get that also opened. Perfect. The Navigator has been opened. So with the Navigator, it's a graphical interface and so you can also check the environment here uh, you can also learn some tips and tricks using this one here there are a lot of things you can do using the navigator but these are things we'll cover in later tutorials so take note of that so this is how we install and set up an anaconda in mac OS using the graphical installer now before I go, let me also say that you can also check the applications folder. Let's check it out. And then Marco is just go to Finder. So Finder, let's go to Applications. Let's check. Okay, yeah, so these are the applications. So here you can see the Anaconda Navigator and you can open it from this side as well. So and that is how uh, we do it so that's basically about it so let's proceed let's go back to the navigator perfect so that's how we do it so if you also have any comments if you also um, have comments on how this tutorial can be improved you can just put it in the comment section and you can all discuss and then learn something new so check my other videos on how to and um, use anaconda to install and then set up data science and bioinformatics too so that's it that'll be all for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session goodbye